What is up guys, Rick Akis here, and what would a new rarity of gun look like in Destiny? Now the reason I'm making this video is because as of late, I've simply fallen out of love with Destiny. Now in fairness to the game, it has given me hundreds of hours of enjoyment, but sadly those times have come to an end. I'm not going to be one of those people that just constantly bash on the game and say it's the worst game in the world and no one should ever play it, and I'm also not going to be one of the people that pretends everything is A-OK -okay and pointlessly make Destiny videos when I'm not even really enjoying the game. You know, I have this YouTube channel and I'm going to use it as a platform to spread what I think are great ideas on how to improve Destiny in the future. So whether you've stopped playing Destiny entirely or are still a hardcore fan, I encourage you to rate and share this video if you agree with what I say and you want to see these things implemented. If not for Destiny, then hopefully in time for Destiny 2. Now let's go back to the topic, what would a new rarity of gun look like in Destiny? So right now we have white, which is the very beginning weapons, they're basically thrown away entirely. In fact, you will stop getting white weapons as drops when you level up. And then we have green, those are the pretty much the lowest of the low as long as you're at the max level. Again, you've stopped getting whites, green are going to be the worst weapon after that. Then we have blue, these are kind of middle of the road, some of them do spawn with pretty incredible stats and can be still competitive in PvP, but it's very, very rare. Then we have purple. These are the guns that are most often utilized. They have the ability to spawn at the highest light levels, uh, which is what is in the game currently. Before it was just the highest levels. Raid weapons spawn at the purple rarity, and there's also a lot of just random weapons that also spawn at this rarity as well. And lastly, there is gold exotic weapons and armor. These are the top tier, best of the best items in the game. To make these items special, firstly you can only equip one gold weapon and one gold armor piece at a time. Secondly, each of these weapon and armor pieces have something unique about them, something that no other gun has. The Red Death, for example, has the ability that when you kill an enemy, you are healed yourself for a little bit. No other weapon in the game has that same feature. The Helm of Saint-14 makes it so that if enemies go in your defender bubble, you're going to blind them. Again, no other armor piece has this feature. Now one of the main complaints of Destiny as of late has simply been that the weapon and armor system in the game has gotten stale. The weapons feel extremely similar, the armor, a lot of it is completely pointless, you're kind of just using the highest light level armor, and there isn't really a ton to differentiate the items within the game. So something that would definitely spice the game up is adding a new rarity level to weapons and armor. However, I think that is simply not enough to add another rarity, let's say, in between purple and gold. So it's like a purple weapon that can spawn with one more perk, for example. I think that's nowhere near enough diversity that needs to be injected into the game. Simply adding another color of gun that is very closely related to the current colors in the game is not enough to increase diversity. Something new, something special needs to happen with this new rarity to actually make it worth using. And to that we look to another game, what has inspired me for this idea is definitely Borderlands. Now back in the day I was actually a Borderlands focused channel, so I have thousands of hours of experience with the Borderlands gun system, I know where it succeeds and I know where it fails. Now Borderlands also has a tiered rarity system just like in Destiny. The worst weapons are white, then there's green, blue, purple, and gold or in this case, orange. Now those are the main base rarities in Borderlands, but interestingly enough, there's actually a couple of more rarities that are kind of, you know, on the side or have been added in DLCs. Now there's actually kind of a different shade of purple weapons that represent E-Tech weapons. There's actually pink rarity weapons, the Seraph weapons, and there's pearlescent weapons, which are even harder, more rare to get than the orange weapons. But what we're going to focus on today in Borderlands is the blue weapons, specifically blue weapons with red text. Now in Borderlands, a weapon with red text means that it does something unique, something different than other weapons of its class, exactly like exotic weapons in Destiny. Again, the Red Death has a unique ability that no other pulse rifle has. And in Borderlands, the Unkempt Herald Orange Torg Pistol has red text and has an ability unique 
to that weapon. In fact, the way it shoots, it shoots out seven projectiles that actually spread apart. Extremely powerful weapon, but again, no other Torg pistol is going to have this ability. Now here's the important part. Red text, unlike Destiny, isn't reserved for the gold orange weapons in Borderlands. In fact, you can find blue weapons with red text, and they're usually quest rewards. Now a great example of this is the Sandhawk. The Sandhawk is a doll SMG in Borderlands, just a simple quest reward, actually pretty easy to get, and it's actually one of the best weapons in the game. And the reason being is because when you shoot this weapon, the unique thing about it is that you can see the projectiles form a, a strange wavy pattern as they head towards an enemy. And this is combined with extremely slow bullet velocity, it can be a little bit difficult to actually hit enemies with this weapon, and this weapon by itself actually kind of isn't that good. It's very unique, but it's not that amazing. What makes this weapon fantastic is that when it is combined with a shield called the B shield, which actually provides bonus damage per shot when hitting an enemy with a full shield, you get a fantastic weapon because actually the, the special thing is with the Sandhawk, each one of its different projectiles that's shooting in a wave each one of these projectiles actually gets the bonus applied to it, so instead of it just counting as one single shot, that, you know, a shotgun would just count as one shot, so the bonus is applied once, each of these little seven projectiles, the bonus is applied seven times, so you're just doing massive, massive damage. But we don't really have to be that complicated when we're talking about red text. What you're seeing here now is a weapon called the Scorpio. This is a doll assault rifle and the only difference really for this weapon is that when this weapon aims down sights, it shoots a burst of five rounds at a time. Whereas normal doll assault rifles will shoot a burst of three rounds. That is the only difference, but that's enough to warrant this weapon being a red text weapon, being a different thing than what the usual is, than what the normal doll assault rifle is. This is exactly what I'm talking about would be a great addition to Destiny. Adding these blue red text weapons, they wouldn't have to be blue, they could be an entirely different rarity, let's say red weapons that would have unique properties, not quite good enough to put them into the gold exotic tier of weapons, but just making them unique. Again, a great example of this is you could simply have a red pulse rifle in Destiny that shot two round bursts. That's it. That's all it really needs to be, stuff like that. That's not enough to warrant it being an exotic weapon, but it is enough to warrant it being unique, being special, and adding to the diversity within the game. Red weapons would have actually been the perfect thing to add into Destiny as the strike exclusive weapons. Having weapons that are a little bit unique, that do a little bit different things than other weapons within the game. Because right now, the strike exclusive weapons and armor, yes they look cool, but it's just so depressing that they fit into the same damage categories, have the same perks as all the other weapons in the game. Yes, you can get good versions of them, but it's just they don't feel that unique when you actually use them. Aside from how they look, they don't feel different. What if the Imago Loop Strike Exclusive Hand Cannon did more damage than usual, but its bullets actually had a slowed down travel time, like they were as slow as rocket launchers? Or it shoots multiple projectiles at a time, like a shotgun? Or it shot laser rounds that could over-penetrate targets and hit multiple targets at once. I don't know any of those things. I don't claim to know all the answers, but any of those things would drastically increase the diversity of the game rather than just adding another generic hand cannon that looks a little different. Actually, it looks exactly like the Fatebringer. A new red rarity of armor would also be a great way to add more diversity into armor because you could have special red armor that spawned with bonuses to certain classes and certain subclasses. For example, a red chest piece that makes your Titan Defender bubble last a little longer or maybe makes your Fists of Havoc a little bit wider radius. Stuff like that that wouldn't be substantial enough to waste an exotic slot for but would be substantial enough that you were running a defender or you were running striker that you'd want to put these red bonuses on. 
Now, of course, the last hurdle to overcome when talking about adding red items into the game is, well, why wouldn't everyone just use red items if they're better and then no one would be using purple items and then the diversity of the game would actually go down? Well, simply put, uniqueness doesn't mean it's better. The two round burst pulse rifle I mentioned earlier might not even be that good. You might still prefer to use the Nerwin's Mercy, however having a special two round burst pulse rifle would again just add to the diversity within the game. The armor only works for certain classes, you might not even want to use that armor and you could always just make these red items actually spawn with a little bit lower light. Maybe they actually get a little bit less perks, so you could be using your Nerwin's Mercy for example, have more more perks overall, let's say a god roll on your Nerwin's Mercy would be better than a certain red weapon, but again, the red weapon isn't about being good, it's about being unique. It has that, you know, quote unquote red text inspired from Borderlands, it has these unique effects that make it diverse, they don't necessarily make it good, they don't make it better than any purple item in the game, they simply make it different. Now that's it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please remember to rate and share this video, especially if you want to make sure that Bungie actually has a chance of seeing it. Now if you want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Now if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter, that's linked in the description of this video down below, as is my Twitch channel which you can follow as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.